We've hired a camper van for five days and we're going to be heading to the Wales and Anglesey coastal paths. <laughs> <laughs> you seen what I've got bought right. with here? Funky driving. Okay. As ever, we'll be hiking. We're going to find some lakes, beaches, and even some waterfalls. It's going to be a great journey and I hope you enjoy it. There's a little seal in the water. Here's the mega grills, but you've got bare ass. <laughs> Morning, welcome to another day. Oh, slept really well last night. Um, <laughs> we did promise that we'd get up nice and early for a big hike, but it's not. It's about half past nine, a little bit of a slow start. So I've just had a little look on a map. The Wales Coast Path is just around the corner. We're just gonna have some protein pancakes like we had the other day. And we're gonna have a little walk. I'm just gonna go around the headland. One little great sight that we're looking forward to see is there's um, a couple of islands that you can see in the distance, and one of them is Bear Grylls Island. That's a that's the place he lives, so we should be able to see that. We'll point that out. Might be difficult to see on the GoPro. Hopefully, I can capture it on the iPhone. But the pro, let me show you these protein pancakes as well. So the new by Aldi, 20 grams of protein pancakes. Awesome. So we're gonna have those with some raspberries, blueberries, and some coconut yogurt. Look at that. Protein pancakes. Coconut yogurt, raspberries, blueberries, and a brew. Cheers. Cheers. That's the trick. And about an hour and a half later, she's ready. You can't rush perfection. My God. It does take her a while to, uh, to make herself look presentable. Right, so off we go on our little hike. Gonna get off the campsite. Hopefully we'll get straight onto the headland and we'll be able to get a view of the sea. Right, so as we're walking out of our campsite, you get to a golf course. And actually this here on the golf course through there is the Wales Coastal Path. As you can hopefully see on my watch. A little bit windy. And this isn't a long hike, it's only about 6k, but it gets us out and about. We should get some views over the islands and over Bear Grylls' island, more importantly. Yeah, just a nice little explore. Should be a little bit hilly as well, I'd imagine. Usually is on the coastal path. Later today, tomorrow, whenever it is, but we're heading to Anglesey as well. So we'll have a little mooch on the Anglesey coastal path, which is also part of obviously the Wales one as well. One of the things I love the most about the paths around here, again, does, gives it no justice on the GoPro, but I'll whip my phone out and show you. And you can see all the Welsh mountains in the background. Obviously very misty on the, on the horizon, but just look at the landscape there. Look at that, beautiful. What a lovely place to live. Amazing. Oh, look at this. Now this is clear water. Whoa! Look at that. Look, and you've got all the lovely coloured huts. Oh, it's fresh. So it's nice and clear, look. <laughs> what? <a laughs> look at this. I used to stop it banging. <laughs> I mean, that's... I've never seen that before. Genius! Get some nice views when we get a little bit higher. Now that there, that could be Bear Grylls is. It's either that one or the next one along, but we'll have a look in a minute. When I get a little bit higher, we'll have a check. So this one, we will get the, uh, the iPhone out in a minute to get a little bit closer, but this is Bear Grylls' island. I'll put the name of it below. I can't remember it now, off the top of my head. And he normally comes to this. They were saying that he comes here in about July and his helicopter lands him on the island. 
how perfect is that hopefully you can still hear me i'm just switching onto the iphone now so let's zoom in here here we go let's have a look i'm not sure how we, how close we can get but there we go that is bear grills his house there or his island we can't see where he's maybe that just under the wind thing is where he lands who knows but look at that how awesome is that what a location there we go enjoying it yes <laughs> right so we're just going to do a circle around here just around the headland we're not too sure what else there is to see actually i did see on os maps that there is a waterfall but i don't know whether we can see it from up here i'm not sure if it's further over the edge but we'll have a look so beautiful around here what i keep doing as well is just stopping and just staring at the water because um we were told before that you can see a lot of dolphins around here as well so i'm just keep scanning the water just to see whether there's a chance of catching any dolphins which would be great to see but it's quite choppy out there so hard to spot but we'll i'll look if i find anything i'll uh, i'll get it on the iphone i've missed hiking must admit i know this is not a major hike or anything but it's still good to get out on the legs um, I did do a hike last week I'm not too sure whether I put that on the channel but if I did you'll see it and I was back into Trifan so it was a guided hike with um, with a friend called Ryan who runs a company called Teslon and he wanted me to take him out he's never done a scramble like that before he has been over Hellvel in Stride and Edge but he, he trusted me and he said I want you to take me somewhere we were going to go to the Lake District but the weather was awful so I decided to take him to Trifan of all places the Northridge he did fantastic it's my favourite mountain, as you probably know. It's been on the channel a couple of times. Well worth it if you've never done it. Um, if anyone fancies it and you want someone to guide you up it, get in touch. Um, and I'm happy to take you around there as well. But yeah, it's, it's such a good place. There, uh, look. Let's keep our lookout for any dolphins. Oh, and we all know what this is here. This is tick heaven. So if you're not familiar with ticks, um, just got to be a little bit careful when you're walking through bushes and things like that, especially with bare legs like we both have today. It's always good to have a thin pair of leggings on because what ticks do, they, they, they grab onto all these little leaves and things and then they jump onto you. And then when they get onto you, get them off quickly. Just check yourself, make sure you've not got an air, flick them off because after a while, they try and make their way into the warmer areas of your body, yes or your nether regions and different places or anywhere to be honest and then the bedding they try and dig into your skin when that happens the only way to get them out is to twist them out and pull so i always have my first aid kit with me which i actually which i actually have not brought today I'll, <laughs> i've left it i've left it in the van um, but i always have a little tick remover it's just like a little hook where you can get under them lift it twist it and pull i've never had a tick because i'm usually very careful but walking through this ground isn't great so all you have to make sure is that you've not got any ticks check your legs otherwise tonight they'll be crawling up your legs inside biting on and that's just me <laughs> <laughs> just managed to get round to the the north section beach down there this kind of carries on round this path well, hey what a place for your camper van we should have gone there <laughs> this kind of just carries on round the coastal path but there's not too much to see around there we're going to come off the path here head through the valley and up and just get back over the tops again and just get some more of the views i think there's a cafe at the end which will be nice we should get some more views, but I'll just give you one last look at the sea down here. And then later by the beach, we'll be getting in that bad boy. Woohoo! <laughs> I can feel that that's what you're going to do. Ah!
So we circled back round. How was that? It was okay, wasn't it? That was mega. So nice. And it was quite an easy walk as well. It wasn't strenuous. It wasn't too hilly. Yeah. Very windy though. Yeah, very windy. Some nice views. But we're not too far from the finish. And then we've got, there should be a cafe at the end of here. Hopefully it's open. And we'll have a little bit. Oh, bacon butties. Oh, bacon butter. Do you know what I really want though? Hot I, chocolate. I, yeah, I fancy a cream tea at some stage oh, cream though. Cream tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cream tea and like toast with jam. Loads oh. of butter, Welsh butter. Well, let's not get too excited because it might be a little dingy oh. cafe. It might not even be open, but <laughs> just what you need at the end of a little hike, stretch, walk, something like that. Time for some food. We didn't find the cafe. We ended up coming back on the same track as last time and we didn't see it. So, never mind. So, no cream tea for us just yet. We will find cream tea in Abbotsford. 100%. So we're going to have a little, it's not quite the same as a cream tea, but some dodgy tuna, <laughs> some John West tuna noodley thing in here, and then hurry up, drive down to Abbasock, find somewhere to park, get on the beach, get in the water. Sound good? Sounds bloody brilliant. Right, come on, open up. Let's go. We're the basking shark here yeah. on Monday. Really? What? Basking shark coming in. Oh, great. They're going to get the water as well. You have to close it, that's a close it or? We don't need a basking shark. Yeah. They don't bite. The plankton, don't they? We're, uh, we're doing a vlog today of our trip. Will you say that's camera? Hmm? Will you say, well, can we have this conversation, but we filmed? We've already got it on film. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> I've left it on. <laughs> Contact creator! <laughs> Don't miss a trick. <laughs> so just keep your eye out here. Yeah? yeah, perfect. Thank right. you very much. Cheers. No worries. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Listen, does she think I'm with an amateur here or what? Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Listen, we don't set things up, Kate. It's real life here. <laughs> Can we just set it up again but with a camera? Listen, real life. Right, so basically we've just arrived at Abbasot Beach. Pack the camper up, five pounds, brilliant. Just be aware, it does say 15 pound charge for camper vans. But when I said, how much is it for ours? He went, just a fiver for that, mate. I think he thinks it's just a van. But yeah. well, there you go. And here we go, a little walk down. I think we've got the nice coloured huts down here as well. Is it gonna be basking shorts? And we've got sexy shoes. Got my sexy shoes, water shoes, orange. Always on brand. And yeah, they were just saying, I think you did obviously heard that then, but they had a basking shark here the other day. So we'll be keeping a lookout for that. And dolphins that he said you sometimes see. Woo! Awesome, here we go. We'll take these shoes off now. Get feet on the sand. <laughs> no, you can just hold my water. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it off you in a second. Oh, look at this. Little huts you can hire out here, look at these. Oh, these are cute. Oh, cute. Now I did pop here briefly last year, uh, only on a little run through, but I've not been here properly since my daughter was young. I think she's only about five. We came on this beach with my mum and dad. And there, if I just turn the camera around, that's where we were today. But that's where we were today. We stayed further down there, and that's so where we walked around the headland, and that's the Bear Grylls Island. Ooh, let's get in that water. It's not as if it's cold. <laughs> I love all the coloured huts, all the iggledy piggledy heights, sizes. Look at that. Yeah, the sand's actually warm though on your feet, which is nice. A little bit of a breeze, but I think sooner rather than later, we just get in this water and get it done because procrastinating about it, I'll never get in. But it's windy, but it's a warm wind. You're a basking shark, 
Yeah. <laughs> My anxiety's going. I'm sure we'll be fine with sharks. When I was in Thailand uh, a few years ago, I was swimming with black sharks. Again, just wild, just happened to see them when we were in the water, which was cool. But I don't fancy seeing a basking shark, they're big. <laughs> The wind's probably not great now, I've had to take the wind protection off the GoPro. But, oh, little shoes on. Are we ready? Let's just go. Straight in, I think. It's not a good look, I know, but. Oh, it's freezing. Let's hold that. Three! Two, one, go! <laughs> yes. And what's the first thing you do when you get in the water? What's the first thing I do when I get in the water? He has a fear every time. Just come here. <laughs> That's alright, it's not too bad once you're in. Yeah. <sighs> Lock nobody else in. When you do like K runs, cold water dips, and when you get in that cold water, it is cold, it's a lot colder than this. But it's nice and still, and you get to stay still and breathe, and it's a little bit more difficult in the water. Walking and topping around, but yeah, it's still lovely. Love to benefit, but obviously, you. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting sand burnt now, that's why I've got this up. The sand's making its way down here, and you probably can't hear with the wind. But yeah, that was brilliant, really enjoyed that. It's not even that cold, you know, it's warm wind. Oh, look at the sand! Oh, smash it against me back. So we're gonna try and get out of the wind, get my top back on. Oh, underneath there, yeah. We're just gonna get under these sheds, out of the wind. Yes! Out of the wind to get, to get dressed. Oh, that was lovely. That once you're in the water, it wasn't too bad. And the wind that's blowing is warm wind. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Oh, I need to get dressed now. Covered in sand, wet sand. Sand in every hole. Sand in every <laughs> hole. I'll have to check later. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's just pointed out exactly, are you all that minute, exactly how orange I am today. Got this on, look. Ridiculous. <laughs> but I've only got this on because it's a windproof jacket. Rab Vital, great jacket. Oh, that's nice. Shorts back on, pair of trainers. Feeling much better now. And we've decided we're going to have a walk into Abbasock, see what Abbasock has to offer. I'm going to walk normal footsteps, but look, look at this state of this. Listen, not everybody can pull these off, okay? <laughs> <sighs> Christopher Glee, do you fancy a pint? Let's do it. There we go. Two Moretti's. Chin chin. Cheers. Mm. I've got a pint, Moretti. You've got a shandy. And we've just come in, St. Tidwell's Inn, I think it's called, a local puppy. But we're trying to kill for some time because it is half past four. Just got a nice chill and a pint in here. And at five o'clock across the road, Chippy opens. Fish and chips by the beach. Does it get any better than this? No. Oh, look at this. 
what I'm having. I think I'm fish. Fish, chips, or she peas. Bound cake with tart sauce. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I <laughs> <laughs> can have two fish and chips, please. And can I have a portion of peas and a portion of gravy in a pot, please? Anything else? Just you. There you go. Um, Oh, I'm absolutely starving now. Twenty-five pound forty. For that was two... the most expensive chicken I have ever yeah. seen. Two fish and chips, one peas, one gravy. Twenty-five quid. <laughs> Bleeding hell. Pirates. It, it does look banging though. Yeah. So what we're going to do? It's freezing now. So we're going to head back to the van, eat this in the van, and then we're going to have to work out what the crack is for Anglesey because it's going to be a bit of a drive from here as well, you know. Is it? Yeah, I <laughs> don't know, it's getting late, we've it's got nowhere to stay. So what we could do, we're doing tonight really, is finding somewhere just to dump the van. Anywhere on the way. Yeah, let's do it, just like yeah. outside of the road somewhere. So I don't know if we have to get to Anglesey tonight, even if we can drive there in the morning, but we'll have to we'll work see. out we'll what the plan is. Right, let's get this back to the, the van. This is the beauty of not having a plan. You just go, you just go with the flow. Yeah, sometimes we know. the flow doesn't quite <laughs> flow where you want it to. You can look at the same time as me. Does that look good or not? Oh, I can't tell. Oh, baby, look at that. Yeah, so we've got Dude. two fish and chips, one pot of peas, one pot of... Oh, we did get gravy, one yeah. pot of gravy. Gravy, and you can always tell a good chippy by their gravy. If it's banging gravy, you generally know they can't go wrong. Right, and their peas. They are good peas. <laughs> good peas, look at them. How is it? Put it this way, if I had jeans on, I'd be opening every single button. Yeah. I must admit, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've been trying to cut down what I eat <laughs> and lose some weight, but oh, I just had to eat that. It was so it's nice. No, it's gorgeous. Great news is for Anglesey tomorrow, the weather looks good. Just checked it. A little bit of rain through the night. Looks like sun tomorrow, 22 degrees. Um, but we're an hour and a half from there and it's getting late now. So we're gonna have a look on park for night and see where we can park this hunk of junk. No, it's not junk. <laughs> see where we can park this. It's far from a hunk I know. of junk. Um, yeah, we're gonna see where we can park this. It's obviously quite big, so I'm sure we'll find somewhere and that is a beauty of van life. It's great pain for a site, but um, one of the key things I like is being able to just wing it, find somewhere, find a little mm. pace to pull in. So that's what we're gonna do. Whew, fingers crossed. Well, we've just found a little lay-by, and I think this is gonna be us. There's another lay-by, what we're heading to a little bit further on, but there's nobody else there, so we feel a little bit more confident with another van here. Yeah. Um, but the weather's settling in, so I think we're gonna get the cover on the windscreen and battle down the hatches, what do you say? Let's battle down the hatches. <laughs> I've never done this before, but super, super easy. Sleeve, slots over the window. It's oh, much, the foot tight. much easier to do with two people. Okay, okay three, three, two, one. one. And then you just slam it shut. Nice and easy. He's a good egg, is our Chris. He's a bloody good egg. Look at him, fighting the elements. Nothing phases this guy. <laughs> it's like Batman. <laughs> Can't you tell I've done this before? <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, three, two, three, two, one. We're all locked down, covers on the van, and we're just chilling now. It's eight o'clock at night, so far so good. And as somebody just pulled up behind us, we can see them out the back, but I think they're just having a uh, having a smoke and a chat on their phone in their car. Hopefully we're all good. We're gonna have a nice relax, gonna have a glass of wine, Catch up on social media, game of cards, we're going to play shithead. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just have a little few snacks and just relax now. We've, we've actually stopped in Carnarvon, so we've probably got about another 25 minutes, half an hour to go in the morning to Anglesey, but just made sense stopping tonight so we can, we can relax. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the downsides. Living in a van is when you st <laughs> is when you stand up under this. I've done it so many times. Oh. 
Oh. So you're okay. Um, but look, we've just had some wine. We've played some cards. We're about to have one last game of rummy. And then we're off to bed. My brain feels um, like it's rattling around in my head. To be fair, love, I think your brain's been rattling around in that head for many years. <laughs> so what we want to do, we want to say good night. Um, tomorrow's plan, up early. We'll probably be up early for, for once because we're on a lay-by. And then we're going to head over to Anglesey and take it from there. So, thank you for watching. Please do consider a like if you liked it. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I shouldn't have to say this, but please consider subscribing. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and you'll just get notified of any new videos. And obviously, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Videos out most Wednesdays at 6pm, so tune in next week. Bye-bye for me. Bye.